down to the land of the blind It's coming my way in North Carolina Staring up the road, praying God I see that light Made it down the coast in 17 hours Picking me a bouquet of dog and flowers And I'm hoping for a rally I can see my baby tonight I'm Larry Owen, State Senator for the 37th District right here in Cartersville. I'm counting on your vote to re-elect me this October, and if you do, I promise you, come January, one of the first things I'll do is I will make co-ed jails. It is downright cruel and unusual punishment to have men and women separated in jail time. What are men supposed to do when they get out? They don't know how to treat women. Women don't know how to treat the men. And you have problems all over again. So my solution, have the men and the women living together the entire time. They learn cohabitation skills, and they're better off for their future. So re-elect me, Larry Owen, 37th District. Love you, Cartersville. Ricky Thomas, come here, follow me, watch this. We have heat and air units of all kinds, heat pumps, gas systems, anything you need. Furnish your whole house for as low as $1,600. Complete systems, don't pay those guys double that price. Use last year's models, everything. We've got cabinets oak and birch, any size that you could possibly want for your house. Cheapest prices in Metro Atlanta. Come to Cartersville, 770-334-8339 at West Yellow Knife Training Post. It's being challenged in the courts. How do you feel? What do you, what do you think the outcome's gonna be? 
Oh, I think the outcome is going to be positive. I think they're going to pass this legislation and we're going to have this wonderful outpouring from the whole metro area. We're going to have people that are going to come in here. We're going to attract more tourists and it's going to be just this great benefit economically for the city. What is the city um, doing to get ready? Oh, they're doing a lot of things like they're buying extra sanitizers for the seats in the restaurants mm -hmm. because some people were very worried about that. Um, they're going to make certain areas that are going to be kid friendly mm -hmm. that that way the kids can be in an area and be able to play and not, you know, put them in front of naked people since some parents are very concerned about right. that. Um, what else are they doing? Um, you've got store shop owners that are also tinting their windows just in case a kid might happen to walk by on a way to a kid-friendly zone, and that way you don't have to worry about seeing them inside. Are, are um, there any business owners that are just really upset? I mean, are they really having major problems with this? I think maybe a couple of the, the clothing stores might be. Mm -hmm. I think they're concerned that people aren't going to buy as much clothing since they're going to be walking around naked. Right. But I think it's I think it's still going to be great for business. You're still going to have people that are going to have to buy clothes if they're going to leave the city, which a lot of people do right. oh, absolutely. on vacations or whatnot. So I don't think it's going to hurt them as bad as they think it will be. You have the hotel rooms and everything to accommodate this? Yes, yes. The hotels are accommodating this 100%. Again, they're going to have kid-friendly zones as well. Um, they're going to put up large trees to divide one pool from another so right. that you can have in essence a, a naked pool and another one that's not so right. that a kid can still go swimming and not see what's going on at the other they're also gonna have um, a curfew uh -huh. they'll have an 11 o'clock curfew uh, and this way you're free to roam wherever you want to and not worry about anybody seeing you and and if you're somebody who doesn't want to see it then you can abide by that curfew as well you can also hang out in the kid-friendly zones so that you don't have to put up with seeing people negative that's not your forte sounds like an awful lot of fun it re I really think it's gonna be I think it's just gonna be completely enlightening and free for people to be able to do I this. hope the city doesn't gouge people gouge the tourists and really try to take advantage and just I really, raise the rates to re raise the food rate raise the hotel rates and just really I really don't think they're going to because they'll have such an influx of people coming in they're not gonna need to raise anything it's gonna be more money for them as it is because they'll have more people coming in. Sounds like so much fun. I think it's going to be fantastic. I cannot wait for this legislation to pass. Thank you very much for spending time with us. Oh, you're quite welcome. Thank you. Controversial? You bet. But the legislation is still being challenged in the court of law. Although City of Cartersville officials say that it's looking pretty good that Cartersville Naked 2012 could be a reality. Again, if that is the case, a person would be able to go naked within the city of Cartersville after they have purchased a permit for $120. Now this event, which is expected to take place sometime during the summer, possibly in June, is expected to generate more tourism revenue than the city has ever seen for any other event. Cartersville Naked 2012. Find out more information by visiting their website at www.cartersvillenaked2012 or our website at atlantalateshow.com. This is Jim Adams reporting for Atlanta Late Show. Started thinking. 